Hello and welcome back to Adventure of the Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three in the UK and today we are reviewing the Berk and Reed. I approached the Berk and Reed about um, whether their activity packs were suitable for home educated children or whether they were very school based um, and expressed that Bessie who is almost seven has been struggling to learn to read and I kind of want to go at a different angle. They had some great ideas for me and they sent me a free box to try in return for a, a review. So this is kind of not a paid promotion but it is a promotion because we we made, we made had that agreement so I just wanted to say that now at the beginning. I wasn't paid but apart from with this box. So I'm just going to open it and show you. Bessie hasn't seen it yet, we're going to repack it in the exact same way and take it down to show her in a minute. So we've got a book here, this is a phonics phase two, a bug club book, it's called Tin Man Tim. And the kind of work words in here are very basic. So you've got tip it in, tins, pins, pans, pip, pip, tap, taps, tip, and so on. So she'll be able to read all of those by herself. And then actually we have this book already, it's called Tim's Din, and uh, it's very basic. But this is a nice newer version, very basic. Dad naps, Tim sits, Tim pats a tin, and so on. Then there is this really cute, cool Assassin Bell pencil with a eraser on the top. She's going to love that, she loves stationery. Who doesn't? Then you've got another book called Sid and Nim, and this is an Oxford reading tree book. I think they all are. These are those ones, those ones are Bug Club. Um, which is from Pearson, and these are Oxford reading, this is an Oxford reading tree book. And there are words in here that are decodable for her, as well as things for the adult to read, which is nice, because I always like, we always try and do, we start off with, I'll read a page, you read a page, just to get them into reading. There's some really nice illustrations, it's a nice big book. Then we've got the activity pack. And I'm going to be really, really careful with this because I don't want her to see that I've opened it. I don't want it to be a complete surprise for her. So, she's got some very basic but good worksheets here. Thinking about S, practicing S, thinking about I, basically phase one phonics. Um, and then she's got a reward chart at the back. We're not hugely into reward charts just because I feel that in some children they can kind of place them in shame if they don't get them and they can kind of be used negatively occasionally as well in like a well I'll take a sticker away from you and that sort of thing but I do think that if used for the right for, for if they're used for certain children in the right um, in the right way then they can be beneficial almost like a, a checklist and it does as long as it does not matter that they that they that they don't do it then it's fine so i'm just going to come a bit closer to you and you can just see the uh the worksheet there so that's one of them i'll just flick to one of the others for you there's doodle spaces on the back which is really important for children like bessie because she really likes um really likes to be able to to do that and do her own thing as well and they're also made they're really quite thick card they're not made of paper Oh, I think I might have just got a paper cut. Um, they're made of paper, so I'm quite impressed with that already. Um, obviously, the most important person who is going to review these is Bessie. And what she thinks to me is more important, because I could be like, yeah, this is really educational, it's really engaging, it's really awful, it's really awesome, sorry. But if she doesn't think it's engaging and she doesn't think it's really awesome, then there's no point in having it. So she will be the real reviewer in a moment. There's also a bookmark that she can write her name on. B stickers for the reward chart, she'll like that. Then there is spot, a spotlight on the sounds, so you can, it says that you can put this on the fridge and uh, to help your child, to remind your child what letters, what letter sounds they're working on. You've got some flashcards to help you practice. I expect you could probably potentially use a, um, a whiteboard marker on these, I don't know, I'll have to check. <laughs> Maybe in an unconspicuous place. And there's also, uh, so the green ones are all the letters that they are learning and then there's a couple of tricky word cards and you've got and and the so that is what is in the pack um now we're going to very carefully take it down to Bessie 
where she can open it. I'm just going to try and put it all there. Where she can open it. And we can get her reaction and um, see if she's willing to give it a go. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed. And I, I need to check how much they cost for a monthly subscription. Um, but we'll talk about that at the end once we've seen Bessie. So let's take this down to... Hello Bessie. Hello. So the Burke and Reed have sent you a special package, haven't they? Yeah. Just for you. What does it say on the back? Can you hold it together? On the back, can you hold it up for us? It says a special delivery for Bessie. And who's Bessie? Me. Here's you. Do you want to open it and see what they sent you? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a book. What does it say? It says Tin Man Tim, Tim's Din. Oh, and another book. Let me see. Adventure Mouse. Sit in. What's this, Bessie? Show me the things. Show me the things. What is it? What's that? <gasps> is that a pencil with the rubber? Were you expecting it to be chocolate? What were you expecting it to be? Like some more things. Things where mm -hmm. I want. What were you expecting? Were you expecting it to be a bit like a KiwiCo box? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, do you remember when the car said that this, the things in the box will help you learn to what? What will it help you learn to do? Learn to read. Learn to read. I can see that you're a bit reluctant about this. Is that's why we've decided to, that's why we decided to partner with them, isn't it? So should we have a look inside here? See what's in here. So I want to add in a disclaimer here. Bessie's not ungrateful or disappointed as such in her books, but when autistic children, especially my autistic children, have something in their mind, especially Bessie, when they have something in their mind that they think they're gonna be getting one thing and then they get something else, they do get really disappointed um, and they come sometimes get really anxious. So uh, we're just gonna give Bessie some space and some time to get her head around the idea of what it is and then we'll come back to it. Hello Bessie, I think you're feeling a bit better now, aren't you? You've had a bit of chocolate as well. Mm. So what did you think? We've just sat down and together read Tim's Din and Tin Man Tim. What did you think of them? I didn't really like oh. the actual story. You didn't really like the stories? Well, that's okay. But I... Um, did you manage to read them? <gasps> did you read them like a clever girl? I think you did. Yes, you did. Who who did did we take turns? Mama read a page, and then who read a page? Actually, I read the whole thing. You read the whole thing. <laughs> Were you a clever sausage? <laughs> Are you a clever sausage? <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you think that this is a really cool pack, or do you think it's a not cool pack? Because I think you were worried about reading them, and now you've read them. Mm. You're half. So one thumbs up is a. Is you get a one thumbs up and a half thumbs up. Mm -hmm. What could make it better? Mm. Oh, I need to do mommy. Having a biscuit? <laughs> what, in the in the pack? No. No, okay. What would make the pack better? Mm -hmm. Or is the pack okay and you were just feeling worried? <laughs> you like that? Oh, so different, you... Different, um, different things. So you really like the stationery? You think that's a good thing in the box? That's the only thing I like. Oh. Is it okay? But you would like more stationery in the box. Oh, and the stickers. And more stickers. Put that down, please. I want to see your face. Thank you. So you would like more stationery and stickers in the box. Do you think it? Do you think the worksheets look cool? Do you think they look colourful? No. Do you think the? Do you, th do you think that the books were cool? Did you think it was cool that you could read them by yourself? I need a complaint 
It's not a clean cut, that's a wall. Eee! Do you think the books, do you think it was cool that you could read the books by yourself? I think that's a really good job. Charlie says you did a really good job. Are you proud of yourself that you read them? Because you keep saying that you can't read and I think you just read those that you can. Did they help you, did they help you think you maybe you can read a little bit? <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> What's it say inside? I don't know. <laughs> it says, Not for use by children under the age of three years. Are you over the age of three? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, did you like did you like the books? Did you like that you could read them yourself? Um, they were easier than some of them. Not that much. Read. Okay, is that because you don't like reading? <laughs> yes. But do you think it was cool that you could read them by yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you? So you think that the, the bear can read could make the books better if they put some more stationery in? Yeah, and they put chocolate biscuit at the end. Oh uh, well, I don't think they can do that because some people like if we got a regular chocolate biscuit, we couldn't eat it, could we? Yeah. No. So, do you think that three <laughs> books three books was a good amount? No. No. Do you think there should be more books? 500. 500 books? I think that would be very expensive for the, box for the company. And I don't think the box is big enough to have Do you, 500. The what, have no, 500 tiny books. Oh, 500 tiny books? What do you think of these? Do you think that they've got enough pictures on? No? You think they might have some more pictures? They need to run down. Do they make it? Do you think they look nicer than your workbook that you do? No. We need to pick. But this is what I give the bad thing. <laughs> you give them two thumbs up now? Now you've looked at more of the worksheets? <laughs> nah. Oh, that's oh, nice. nice. <laughs> what about these? This is to go on the fridge to remind you of the letter sounds. Do you think that's a good thing to go on the fridge? No. She's gone to put that on the no. fridge right now. It's all blurry now from when she licked it. It doesn't stick. Because you didn't put Why a didn't magnet put on it. Racing cars. Uh, huh? Racing cars? <sighs> no, I... I'm going to use the... Is that... A, it's like a moose or something, isn't it? Oh, no. You're going to use a starfish. Come back then. Come and have a look. They've also put some flashed cards in. Will you come and look at them and see if you think they are good? So the orange ones, ow. The orange ones, come here so I can see. So our friends can see. The orange ones are tricky words. What word is that? Can you tell our friends? Because it's a bit blurry where you licked it. They can't see it properly. What word is it? Oh, okay. Still blurry. I need to clean it. Can you tell? Do you know what tricky word that is? Can you remember from Teacher Monster to Read? <laughs> no? What about this one? Can you sound it out? Is this one a sound out one? Okay, can you sound it out for me? I'll keep it there and you sound it out. What does it say? Does it say something on the back too? Yeah. What does it say? Um. It. Sit. It. It's not a b. It's a. It's that one. So it says a n. It's not a b. D. A n. What is it? A n. D. And. And. Why did you press huh? A? Sap. Sit. Oh, that's a, not an out, that's an I. Oh. Can you try again? Why don't I put on a photo for you? No. If. Puff. Sit. Sit. Okay. What do you want? Then it's a mix. Press it down. So, Ip. Sip. Sit. Sit and. Sit. Sit. 
sit and sip. Bessie just read that to you. Uh, uh, and then what are all these ones? Mm, no, I don't want to do it. What's on the pictures on the back? Can yeah. you show them the pictures on the back? So we've got some sound flashcards too. Okay. And, and, and what's like on the other side? One. It's uh, a, uh, an ah. Uh. And what's that? Uh, a dog. Uh. And what's on the other side? It's a buh. Is it a buh? No, a duh. A duh. Sometimes I buh and duh are very easy to get confused. Likes. Oh, they are insects. Oh. And they look like flies. They do look like flies, but what's the letter? N. I, I, insects. And also, I in the corner. You I, see that's that. right. Yeah. Oh wait, can I show the other Oh, you show the others, yeah. See what's in the corner. This one. And what's that? Okay, that's the song of my daddy's name. Duh, duh. Daddy, what's, how do you say an uppercase okay. duh? A, B, C, D. D. What's this, this one? This is the door of... Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, ah, Albert. You can see this his. one. So what's the, what do you, what's the big sound? What's the big, what's the letter name? Right. It says ah, but its name is... Yep. Begin, when we start singing the alphabet song, it's the first one you say. Um. <laughs> it's not, is it going... A. A. Well done. Yeah. What's the next one? Ow. Can I show you? Albert. What's the next one? Albert. What's this? Um. Bessie, what's this one? Is this a rat? Did you bash your noggin? Did Albert bash your noggin? Oh dear. What's this one? For some reason, Albert enjoyed those. Can you see it? It's not a rat, it's a mouse. Mouse, and what's on the back? Ma. Um, Ma. Up here. This is the sound of my head. Ma, 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 ma. And it's a is that an N or an M? M. M. Well done. Ah, uh, I can't keep with <laughs> And this is a N. N. No. Newt. That's right. It's a new. A bit blurry. <laughs> Wait, no, it is. No. It's new. It's Newt. And what's on the back? A uh, N. 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 Oh, we got this more. Bessie, you've <gasps> given us so many flashcards, aren't we lucky? It's a pig. It's a pig. Why and what it, does pig Why is it a white pig? Mm. I don't know. It's some, a white pig. Pig. some pigs are white. What? Some pigs oh, are black. Some pigs are pink. Too. Some pigs are brown. And <laughs> the letter is P. 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 And then that's P. 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 Pig. Look at this. It's real much, so much red, isn't it? Yeah, that's because you hurt your chin a little while ago, didn't you? Huh? Mm -hmm. It's because you hurt your chin, oh, didn't you? You had no. a big scab on your chin. Yeah. What's the next one? A snake. A snake. Right, 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 right. Ah, oh, no, don't get our friends. <laughs> and what's on the back? What's on the back? <laughs> and what's the big letter in the corner? S. It says S, but the letter name is? S. 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 Well done. S. Oh. One more to go. Can anyone guess what it is? <gasps> a tiger. Tiger. Show us the picture. Oh, he looks a bit like a tiger who came to tea. Yeah. Are we I'm having a tiger? No, we're not having a tiger to tea. But it looks better on this picture. Um, and the better on the back is tiger. Tur and what does this say? Tea. Tea. So we got, what did you, can you show our friends what else you've got? So you've got worksheets and books and flashcards and a pencil with an eraser and a sticker chart. Did you get stickers? I said yes. Oh, I think they're over here. But keep this one together. Oh, okay. The spider sticking them together. Oh, look. You did, you put a spider on them. So it's a lovely reward chart. So every time you read a book and every time you do a worksheet, you get a sticker. And it's a bumblebee. Bumblebees. Bumblebees, yes, plural. And I use this tiny spider ring and to keep them together. We've got a bookmark to go in your books. And it says Koala Club. This bookmark belongs to, and what are you going to write in the box? <laughs> Mama. Bessie oh. and Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> so if five, five uh, out of five, uh, 
Bessie, if five oh, out wow, of five, okay. so cool. if five out of five was this is the best box ever, and zero out of five was like this is rubbish, you need to do better. What score would you give the Bear Can Read? One hundred. One hundred out of five. <laughs> so you've had it from Bessie herself. She was a bit shocked that it wasn't a KiwiCo box because that's the only one she's had before. But once, I want another Kiwi box. Yeah. Once we sat down and had a good look at it together, and once we realised that we could read the books together and actually made us feel a bit braver, Bessie's decided she does really like the box after all. Sometimes Bessie just needs a little bit of time, don't you, Bessie? Do you sometimes need a bit of time, Gina? Pudgy poop poops. Do you need a bit of time sometimes to work stuff out? Yeah. yeah. So thank you very much, the Bear Can Read. We really like your boxes, and I think that Charles and Albert might like one too, so I think we're gonna have to buy some, aren't we? Would you like me to get you another box, Bessie? I'll only have one if the books aren't like Yeah, you can have it on taps the tin. Yeah, you can they do bigger they do boxes for older children as well and really little children like Al, but they do well, all I get a pencil. sorts of ranges. Will I get a cool pencil? You probably will get a cool pencil. So I've included the link to the Bear Can Read in the description and I hope that you'll check them out. Would you like another box if they if we get one? Not another one of the bear. Not another one of the bear. Not right. I want <laughs> Every but if Charles and Albert were getting one, would you like another one too? Every single different home, home what? every oh, week mm -hmm. I would hot. like I uh, one of those bear that? box and a king's bear. Oh, you'd like one every no, week? I know. So we have to say bye bye now. Can you bye say bye bye? Mm. Don't lick the camera! <laughs> ah, bye bye! Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a 